I'm Maria Navarro and this is Brookdale Newsmakers. Today our guest is Laura McCullough, Assistant Professor of English but also Founder and Co-Director of the Creative Writing Program. Hello Laura and thank you for joining us. Hi there. So can you tell us a little about the Creative Ro Program? The Creative Writing right. Program. Well there are about um, eight, nine hundred creative writing programs at the four-year college level and at the graduate school level around the country and we realized about eight years ago that the two-year college um, environment was a little bit behind the, the ball on this. There are about 10 or 15 of them around the country. We're now one of those. We're really very cutting edge. About eight years ago, the faculty who are both practicing writers and publishing mm -hmm. decided to get together to create a creative writing committee. And it took us about eight years to develop the program. We went live this past fall of 08. Um, We've got about uh, seven genre classes, including poetry, mixed genre, fiction, screenwriting, which is one of our newer classes that's very, very popular with Kurt Scheffler, creative nonfiction, and graphic novel now is our newest one. Uh, we have a top flight visiting writer series. We bring writers from around the country to meet with our students, have dinner with them, give them lectures, read to them, open to the public as well. We have a um, award-winning student literary magazine collage that Tim Burke and Gina Marola run. And we have a really, really active creative writing club uh, that goes on a number of field trips and uh, that um, supports the uh, poets and the fiction writers and the screenwriters here on campus. Um, and there's, through the program, there's a major yep. in creative writing major. Yep. Tell you us can, a little on that. You can, major. you can major in creative writing and transfer to a number of colleges in New Jersey that we are articulating with, and a couple of outside of New Jersey, including the New School in New York and Goddard College in Vermont. And what kind of things can you do with a major in creative writing? Well, all kinds of things. Um, certainly people who are interested in being poets, novelists, short story writers, and screenwriters would want to do this program. And down the line, they would probably be both teachers and practitioners in their art. But there are a lot of other people who come to this program, people who are interested in being editors, copy editors, who are interested in the publishing industry, advertising, communications. And actually, just this month, the uh, professional magazine, uh, uh, the Writer's Chronicle of the Associated Writing Programs Association, I think I got that <laughs> wrong, um, has an article on this very thing, that in addition to all of those very practical places that you would go, it's terrific for people who want to learn to think outside the box, who want to think divergently, who are interested in language, but most importantly, who want to be problem solvers, because that's a little bit of uh, a part of learning a craft. And the club. Now, the club is open to anyone to join? Sure. It's open to anybody. It's a great group of students. Um, we often have some turnover every semester as, as people leave and move on to the, their four-year college destination. But we always have a really interesting core of students who are supportive of each other, who are excited about um, different aesthetics and uh, the different visions that um, students bring into the room. Now, how does the Creative Writing Program uh, connect to the Brookdale Arts Alive? Well, that's an initiative that Marie Maber, Jack Ryan, and I started last year to really try to bring some attention to all the generative arts on campus, meaning things that students are creating, whether or not that's the uh, uh, our architects, our fashion people, our poets, our, our photographers, our painters, our musical and theater students, all kinds of them. We're all working, you know, by ourselves, but n we're all working without knowing what all the other students are doing. So I, we want to be able to build an audience. We want to be able to get these students working together and doing projects like getting our screenwriters, working with our actors. Makes sense, right? OK, well, and the faculty is involved in the creative arts life as well. We have lots of fabulous faculty here at Brookdale who are both practitioners as well as teachers. I'm a writer teacher, a teacher writer. My second book's coming out. Jeff Ford, you know, his something like 10th book is coming out, Marie Maber constantly having showings. There's a lot of us on campus, and that's what we want to give to our students, the passion that we're well, doing the same thing. Well, it was great having you. Thank you so much. <laughs> our discussion today was with Laura McCullough. I'm Maria Navarro for Brookdale Newsmakers. Thank you. Great job.